Okay, so here we go with the Sailor Naginata. Sorry, Naginata Togi. This is the medium fine. Uh, the point in notice what I did there. The point in using a Naginata nib is that like the zoom nib, it will give you uh, a finer line if the angle to the paper is very sharp and as it gets more shallower uh, you get a broader line. However, that just sounds like a zoom nib and it is. The difference is that the Naginata nib has longer, thinner tines, making for a slightly flexier writing experience. And that's what we're going to see. I'm just going to use my regular writing angle and then I would say this is already quite broad. Uh, I, I find this a little over a normal medium, so medium fine for me is stretching it a bit, but of course that may just be my writing angle. Pleasant writing, definitely feedback. This is not an, an ultra glass smooth nib. But as you can see, the feed keeps up very well, which is very nice. Now, as to that line variation, uh, first of all, wetness, it's pretty wet nib, not a gusher, but pretty wet. I'm going to start, uh, let's, let's first do this to see how flexy it is. This is just pressure, all right? I won't push it any further than that, but you can see there's quite a bit of line variation to be had by just pressing down on the nib. But now what I'll do is I'll start with the nib perpendicular to the paper and I'll just make the writing angle shallower. And then you can see what happens. So we start with a very fine nib, uh, sorry, a very fine line which I would say is fine to extra fine maybe even. And then as we go down we go to broader and broader lines and that's about the max I can get out of this. This is also pressing down a bit. So that is quite a difference from the nib completely uh, perpendicular to the paper. Alright, on to the next nib. Hope this was useful and I'd like to see you later.